Hey everyone, so I'm on a train right now in Tokyo and um, I'm going to uh, Takao-san which is a very famous uh, mountain in uh, on the west of Tokyo and um, just uh, had a few minutes so I want to talk about a new way of how I am thinking of organizing my company and uh, you know usually in a company you have titles based on functions like oh this is the head of marketing and head of sales and head of product and this and that and whatnot right or sometimes you have a head of a project I guess or you have projects and you have uh, you know manager of the project or whatever but usually you have people in functional positions and they work on projects. And uh, I think that's, even though that's amazing, I feel like uh, there is recently, recently I heard about a new way where you, you know, assign people to results. So you have a team for results, for example, let's say in a marketing funnel you have a team for click through rate so it's not the thumbnail team or design team or whatever team uh, or growth team whatever it's just let's say it's called the click through rate team right or the click through rate whatever head of click through rate or the person responsible for click through rate and then you have one person who is responsible for a different metric right and that that kind of like organization structure really blew my mind because it first of all it re it aligns the company towards the right goal so that nobody's working on frivolous bullshit number one and number two it the title itself you know gives people extreme clarity on what they're supposed to do and how they are contributing to the company and they can take full ownership of that thing and never say oh that's not my job or this is not my job whatever so if you're in for example let's say for you know for us at dense layers one metric is going to be weekly retention for example for the scholars who use the platform so if i give somebody the job of being head of retention whatever head, head, head of weekly retention or you know the teams the, the team's name is weekly reten retention then that person will have to find the resources whether it's an engineering resource it's a marketing resource or whatever a copywriting it doesn't matter what you know they have to go and find the resources within the company or outside to get that job done and think more multidisciplinarily right and it solves the problem of like, oh, I'm a marketing person. That's all I do. And, you know, you're having people who kind of like get bored after a while as well, you know, because they have no way to grow. But when you think about when you organize by metrics, you know, an interesting, I mean, of course, I haven't made that decision yet, but a very compelling um, pro of this approach is that if you're for example working on the retention team right and you get bored after a time like first of all you could always have more retention you could always keep doing interesting projects yourself to test and try new things and new ideas and keep pushing the boundary and become world class at that right number two let's say you do get bored let's say you're like okay i've done a lot but i i find the i, I find that i have more ideas on the click-through rate or the onboarding um, aspect or the acquisition aspect of marketing than on the retention side right or on the sales side on the monetization side or whatever like you know you find that you find since you're interfacing with those people or that work you find that that's what excites you more great you know you could switch to that team for example and uh, you know that like a very much more interesting career ladder for you in terms of you know of course the title and the pay 
you know, that's all secondary. That's all separate. Like, yeah, you could keep getting promoted and keep doing more work based on how long you've been in the company and how much you're contributing, right? But just in terms of the motivation, finding meaning in your work and finding an impact in your work, I feel like uh, both for the management side and for employees, it's uh, those who are actually driven to do real work and who are creative and who, who like solving problems, I think that this could be a really great way of like sparking creativity in the company. When you give people ownership of a result as opposed to are you doing a good job or not. Um, it's also inspired by like, it's interesting how things come together. Like only recently I was reading about the, I heard about this in a podcast and then I was also re reading Peter Drucker who said that as an executive, you know, as an ex effective executive, uh, you have to take responsibility of a result, not an effort. Most of the work we do in companies, in a company, most of the work we're doing is an effort, like it's a cost to the company, but it's not always tied to a result for the company, right? Often people say, I'm in charge of this, or I'm in charge of that work, or that responsibility, or these people under me. Um, but by doing this, you know, you can give people, okay, I'm leaving this, the train. By doing, by reorganizing this way, you give people not only responsibility, but also um, ownership of a result. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking and I think I'll really pursue this idea or at least test this out because I've had problems in the past with people just uh, just getting things done by people by making it clear for them what their job is, you know. And every, every manager, every entrepreneur I know has probably struggled with that where they're like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to contribute? Is this good? Is this bad? You know? Do you have any feedback? Like all that kind of shit, right? And if, and it's useful, but I think like ninety percent of the ninety nine percent of the feedback should be in the results themselves, and the rest is like coaching, where you know as an as a founder you guide people to do their job better, to help them with ideas, brainstorm and stuff. But you should be playing a supporting role. Um, uh, one second. Anyway, I'll stop recording now. Bye bye.